The Gegenatosaurus is 29 inches long, has 21 points of articulation, excellent natural looking sculpted skin, and wonderful paint apps. It also has beautiful details like the glass eye for added realism, poseable tongue, stretchy jaw tendons, and a poseable rubber tail. This is a mass produced, in scale classified Skyhawk basically with lights. What the? What, what the hell? This 100% looks like the Kurt Angle meme face. Like, look at the eyes. Like, there's just something I'm getting a lot of get out vibes from this. Guys, we are going live this Sunday, the 28th at 9 p.m. Just stop by. Come say what's up, man. We talking about the best figures of 2024 that we're supposed to be getting this year. We interrupt this YouTube video to bring you another weekly episode of Articulated Ninjas Action Figure News. It might be 10 p.m. Do you know where your action figures are? What's good everybody, Articulated Ninja here, and let's go over some of the most recent 6 to 7 inch scale action figure news, for the most part from like the last week or so. I wanna find my figure's Instagram page, like I always say this is my wife's page and she runs this with our girlfriend. How can I be homophobic? And one of the first things I gotta bring up, it is about time, it is about time, it is about time, we finally get the full product reveal for Brawly. This is what we needed! AKA this Kong Beast Deities Norse Gods Fenrir. We all know this is brawl. This is what the real action figure is, not this, but they gotta do what they gotta do to, you know, not get caught by those boys. <coughs> but look, this looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, I feel like it was a real missed opportunity for the prior Brawlies to not have a crossed arms. It's Brawly, bro. Like, he has to have crossed arms. He has to just be able to stand there like a complete badass and take punishment. But the better thing is look at the size of this guy, 10 inches. That's a big man. Hey, yo. Pause. You're a problem. You're a real, real problem. <laughs> Yo, I'm just excited. Like, forget all the jokes and everything. I always, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm just, this is good, man. I am super excited to get this. I will most likely be pre-ordering more than one, at least two minimum. And the MSRP is $78. The pre-orders are currently available on 5K Toys right now. This will be one that will 100% sell out. Any main staple character usually sells out really hard to to get the prices go crazy on the aftermarket this guy look at the size 10 inches this is the size of a regular standard action figure this guy is 10 inches look how wide he is 78 dollars and the eta is quarter one or quarter two of 2025 i really hope it's quarter one i really hope we could get this right after christmas that will be absolutely beautiful and also it looks like we're gonna get a super saiyan 3 form as well as a super saiyan 4 form these have not gone up for pre-order yet but you guys can see right here the length of the hair going all the way down for super saiyan 3 or 4 this is absolutely beautiful pre-orders for that should be a soon on 5ktoys.com as well so if you are missing a brawly the msrp here is just 78 dollars for this 10 inch action figure you don't want to have to pay for the official version because those prices are stupid that is blasphemous also, let's just stay with some of the third-party stuff right now. Not really third-party, but it is Revel Tech, and I, I really like their little expansion packs or the accessory packs. I thought that this looked really, really nice. You guys know me. I love blood effects, so I am happy that, you know, this at least comes with one, but I am also a really big fan of this scythe right here. This looks really, really nice. Um, as you guys can see right there, this is a standard Revel Tech figure, I guess, a blank body. And the size of that scythe is really, really nice. So the pre-orders open up on May 8th. The MSRP and the ETA will be announced and updated soon. Also over on 5K Toys, we have the pre-orders that are currently available for the Titan Toys Frost Knight. Um, the MSRP is $69. The ETA is quarter one of 2025. So literally right in the beginning of 2025, this guy should be hidden. And I gotta say, he looks really, really cool, especially if you're into characters, the whole world of Warcraft scene and everything. This is obviously supposed to be a take and a play on that. I love that the sword can actually actually go into the ice 
that looks really really nice the detail on this guy looks really really nice so this is available from titan toys the frost knight over on 5ktoys.com and it says he's eight inches tall so this is not a tiny figure man he looks like a, a really big imposing type of medieval knight also something that i know a lot of people are excited about we do have the koza toys demon flame abyss knight most people know who this is supposed to be, man. Shout out to Legend Series right here, man. Because yes, this is my all-time favorite game series and death is my guy i pre-ordered this guy a while ago and i'm counting the minutes to get him in hand the articulation the detail the sculpting of course it's more of an import style figure so it is 69.99 the eta is quarter two of 2024 but i did not think this guy was going to be this nice and if i am not confused i'm pretty sure he also has light up features but i, I might be wrong maybe i'm tripping but i'm pretty sure that he does this thing just looks amazing absolutely amazing man beautiful all right leaving some of the third party stuff we did get some really nice surprises from creative beast studios i really like their dinosaurs and what i would have to say i love way more than dinosaurs are dragons and they did show off new test shots of their arctic dragon as well as some other dinosaurs and they look really nice man like i am so excited i cannot wait to get this arctic dragon in my collection and just on the channel for you guys to see because granted these are not supposed to be in scale with six inch figures but dragons as well as you know dinosaurs they come in all different shapes and sizes and varying ages so you can always have a smaller one a baby one medium size large whatever so i am just super excited to get just dragons dragons in general especially really nicely articulated ones and that's what creative b studio is known for making some really highly detailed and articulated dinosaur figures so with them showing off the arctic dragon they also did have a live stream where they showed off one of their newest dragons that you know is, is in the making and this is the bristol dragon and i think it looks absolutely beautiful granted this is all just sculpted out of clay because this is basically you know one of the earliest earliest um renditions or prototypes whatever you want to call it of this dragon but this will be the next dragon in the line and it looks like a mount now these are if i believe these are about three to four inch figures to me a six inch figure which the head on a six inch figure would be either up here or a little bit higher up here would still be really nice next to this dragon because like i said you look at you look at lore fantasy depictions of they come in all different shapes and sizes so this is going to be a really really nice mount to have i picture this kind of similar to the he-man mounts that we used to get like the griffin and stuff like that i'll throw it on screen if i could find it but that's i'm getting that type of vibe when it comes to these scale dragons with six inch figures but any type of dragon mount i'm happy with it doesn't always need to be this huge thing i feel like dragons just just like dinosaurs come in all different shapes and sizes this looks really really nice to me i'm definitely excited about this looking at the scale of these wings man they look absolutely huge so a six inch figure i'm assuming would probably be the the head would probably be up here somewhere if it was standing where the feet are at and to me like i said i'm happy with that this looks like a smaller dragon for all my game of thrones fans you know these dragons age from small little babies so we watch a dragon go from the size of an egg to you know either a similar size or way bigger than a human like this looks really really nice but since we did just talk about the dragons i am so happy and excited that we are getting another large large dinosaur figure in the hammond collection this is what we've been waiting on now did it necessarily need to be a carnivore no i don't care if it was a herbivore carnivore omnivore it doesn't matter to me i'm just happy happy to get large scale articulated dinosaurs and dragons and this guy should be similar to the t-rex that everybody absolutely loved and praised this guy is right around that size and it looks like he has better articulation as well i would love to get a 2.0 version of that t-rex in the hammond collection but i am excited to add this
this guy to that list. He looks absolutely beautiful, beautiful, man. Like, so if you like that T-Rex or if you know someone that did like that T-Rex, we know what to expect. I wish they wouldn't have canceled the Amber collection because that was true six inch scale. The Hammond collection is for three inch figures. But like I always say, it can fit in. I mean, we're, we're adults playing with action figures. You have to have an imagination, right? So this can definitely, definitely fit in with six inch scale figures. It just depends on the, the age of the dinosaur, right? Maybe he's a little bit younger. He's not full grown yet, but that T-Rex was huge. Figure is 29 inches long with 21 points of articulation. Absolutely beautiful. I know my man, Mython, shout out to Mython. He loves dinosaurs just as much as I do. Maybe even more, man. And he, he's super excited about this. Like, I don't know one person that had something negative to say about that um, Jurassic Park Hammond collection Tyrannosaurus. Not one person. This should be very comparable to that. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that expensive because that T-Rex from the Hammond collection was, I think, around 50 or 60 bucks. I, I don't I honestly don't think it was more than 60 or 70 dollars, to be honest. And it was huge. It's one of the biggest aside from the Bronchiosaurus. It's it's one of the biggest uh, dinosaurs in that entire line. Highly detailed, highly articulated. That is why I love the Hammond collection. Rest in peace to the Amber collection. I wish we still had that, man. And also going along with the Hammond collection, we have the Therizinosaurus. And another thing that to me looks absolutely beautiful. Could the paint apps and everything always be more detailed, be better, pop a little bit more? Yes, yes, they could. But I'm not going to sit here and nitpick or complain so much when it's a line and something that has never been done before. That Dinosaurs at this scale with this amount of articulation has never been done before. Like not by a mainstream company. Yes, we have Creative B Studios doing amazing work over there. But I mean by one of the biggest companies in the world, Mattel, Hasbro, nobody, none of the big companies has ever stuck to giving us an articulated line of dinosaurs. You know what I'm saying? Simply that. Also on a Big Bad Toy Store and Fresh Monkey Fiction, their partnership with Maestro Union, they did show off these teases of another type of rendition of the veteran Williams. But obviously, I think this guy looks absolutely awesome. Now, I don't think he's going to come with the bare body legs. Do I think he should? 100%. I think that would look beautiful, man. But even without that, I think this figure still looks absolutely gorgeous especially if you're a fan of predator if you're a fan of predator look at this gauntlet you cannot tell me that this gauntlet does not scream alien versus predator or just predator in general it looks really really nice i love the color on the pants the vest the dog tags so many dog tags here at this point you would have to think it must be some of his fallen friends or other soldiers that he has killed like trophies these are his trophies this looks really really cool man i love the big gun that he comes with just everything here this this is nice man i'm not gonna complain and because it is my show union i'm pretty sure that these shotgun shells are removable i wouldn't be surprised if they are because um the detail when it comes to their scopes and their figures and everything just absolutely beautiful all the time man hey shout out to not top going another channel member man yeah. oh ninja's gonna love this one you damn right you are damn right man and speaking of wolves shout out to loose collector man these guys are doing some really nice stuff but they did show off the in package shots of their great wolf series that they have coming absolutely gorgeous i love when there's side art on the package because as collectors if we do want to keep the package it will look nice side by side nobody has these in hand yet guys we don't know how amazing these are or you know if they're going to be a disappointment usually with what this company puts out I, I, i'd be pretty surprised if these are disappointing they look absolutely amazing i feel like this rollout of wolves that they're doing is better than any other company's release ever because all at one time they're dropping multiple colors you know what i'm saying they're not giving us a gray wolf first and then we have to wait a year to get a white one then another year to get a brown one no they they looks like they're rolling everything out all at one time you pick your color and i i love to army build and troop build too so i mean if you want to get a pack of wolves maybe four or five gray ones and one white one to be the leader you have the option to do that stuff here and that's what is really really nice i love that they just dropped multiple colors right off of the bat man maestro union take notes on that man take notes take notes nigga. take notes nigga. 
they dropped multiple colors all at one time this is absolutely beautiful mezco did show off more pictures of this spider-man across the spider-verse miles morales i just feel like certain figures i know mezco is known for their cloth goods but i just feel like certain figures do not need not everything needs to be cloth and they proved it with the ninja turtles imagine if they would have tried to make the ninja turtles cloth or some shit like and miles is one of those characters he consistently is wearing jackets and stuff they they didn't in my eye my eyes they didn't have to make this figure cloth i feel like that with majority of spider-man figures but they could throw in soft goods and cloth with it miles is always wearing jackets and stuff like that could have been cloth so i just worry when it comes to like you know i've seen people have issues when it comes to the bending and you know paint chipping and stuff like that off of the prints that are on the prints that come on the clothes and stuff like that i've seen people have paint issues and chipping when it comes to mezco and to me it doesn't look bad it doesn't look as bad as the first photos but it's this is still not it for me there's just something off about it and then of all the face expressions to give miles with you know when he's wearing no mask this face looks kind of shocked like this look at his eyes like this 100 percent looks like the kurt angle meme face like look at the eyes like there's just something i'm getting a lot of get out vibes from this so i really do like the way these head sculpts look though i like this one i love all the masked head sculpts they look really nice see and, and i know that these are prototypes but just looking at this right there it already looks like there's a chip in that like i'm just <laughs> I am it's just so tricky when it comes to these cloth figures sometimes they look amazing other times they just scare me they scare me because of the price it's never cheap um I worry about the articulation and the joints over time but um MSRP is $85 the ETA is October or December of 2024 so we should be getting this in hand with you know before Christmas time hopefully and SH Figure Arts did show off some prototype shots of their upcoming Ace, man. And this looks really, really nice. I can't even lie. I do not. I do not watch uh, One Piece at all. But his character design was always my favorite. I wish he would have been the main character. I just can't get behind Luffy. He looks a little bit too goofy. But this guy, this guy looks badass. Doesn't look goofy at all. Like... He looks amazing, man. I love the smile face with him holding the hat. This looks really nice. This may be the first One Piece figure I ever pick up in my life, man. This looks really good. Mythic Mike says, Ace is him. Hey, yo, he looked like him. He looks like him. He looks like he should have been the main character. Yeah, he got a lot of him vibes, definitely. SH Figures also showed off shots of this. For I'm not I'm not familiar with the Star Wars character at all. Um, I'm not sure who really acts for this or who's excited for this, to be honest, man. Like, but if you are a Star Wars fan options man it's always great to have options and i love to see lines do obscure characters so i am definitely not complaining at all like at all this is cool that they're doing an obscure character um i, I just wonder how the actual star wars community feels about it also sh figure arts has shown off their i'm not even going to try to pronounce this just another ranger type of looking figure this is called boom gr gur bun red Oh man, I you know what? Yo, this is here for the people that think it's cool. I thought it was unique. It looked it looked interesting. I mean, the guy literally has a tire on his face. So of course I'm gonna sit here and be like, this is different. Like this is definitely unique. A tire on his face and tires on his back. Like this is wild. Like I said, I do love appreciating obscure art and just obscure characters because it is not as traditional as a lot of other things so this is here the pre-orders open up on april 26 and the msrp is to be announced but the eta is around october 2024 sh figure arts is just taking over man speaking of sh figure arts taking over this ichigo figure looks amazing just based off of these photos i have no real complaints just looking at this beautiful figure i have no real complaints man this looks really really nice i do have the renji and i know a lot of people didn't like like it and, and i did i really did enjoy the renji figure that i do have with a uh, similar sculpting similar outfit 
but this looks really really nice i love the head sculpt everything here this will definitely be another one that i will be picking up eta is another one october of 2024 man like i said sh figure arts is really expanding and taking over a lot but speaking of them taking over this was easily a fan favorite i can i don't know someone that was disappointed by this review i saw this review and got super excited super hype like this is something that i waited for my entire life one of my favorite characters in the dragon verse if you want to call it that like absolutely beautiful this android 17 looks gorgeous man just absolutely gorgeous looking at his sculpting and i cannot wait i recently did get the premium color android 17 the one that's a little bit pricey i am so glad that i got it in my collection because to stand him side by side with 18 and that version of 17 is going to be beautiful man everything here i love it's another one that should be releasing in 2024 man sh figure arts is killing it now i'm just hoping that they get their qc under control because it seems like some of the most hype and anticipated figures get like struck with qc and that absolutely sucks i'm hoping that this is not the case for this guy warp frenzy says super 17 from one movie but still no kid boo speaking of that I forgot to throw this into the third party section. I'm just messing up today, guys. But Tantan Art Toys did show some articulation on their kid boo that they have coming out. And it, it looks really good, man. Like, I don't have any real complaints. Like I said, this is just a showcase on an early prototype or... You know, it, to me, it's it's still not the finished product, but it does look really good. Looking at the butterfly joint and the hinges, like, it looks nice. But going right back over to SH Figure Arts, they did post this and then take this down temporarily. I'm not even sure if they put it back up, but I am very appreciative that my wife, you know, she tries to stay on top of things. We all have work and lives, so she can't always post as soon as something goes up. But she does get around to it fairly early and quick. And um, I was happy that she did post this because this Ravoni Kenshin figure looks absolutely beautiful. 100% something I will be picking up. No question about it. I love my anime characters. I love that he could have the hands in his pockets right here with the sword and everything just huh, man he look he looks like him he looks like the main character man and he's not but he looks absolutely beautiful man meiji or meji i'm not even sure how to say his name correctly i don't remember him from the roroni kenshin that i remember watching but maybe this is just from a movie or a story arc that or season that i didn't catch but the character looks absolutely beautiful i'm not here to speak about how amazing the characters are in the shows i'm here to talk about how beautiful these action figures are because that's what i appreciate it's just action figures i just i always worry when it comes to sh figure arts and their qc man usually they hit it out the park but when they fail hard on qc they fail extra hard also storm collectibles did show off their event exclusive uh baki hanma which i guess is battle damage i'm sure this is for some convention in asia that's probably happening or going to happen soon and it looks really nice man i wish it wasn't an event exclusive i'm sure the price of this guy is going to be ridiculous i don't have the original baki i wish i would have picked them up you guys know i love the yujiro hanma figure i have unfortunately i don't have the sun i wouldn't want to pick up a battle damage version of him first but i mean if that's what i'm gonna have to do that's what i'm gonna have to do but this looks really, really nice. I wish it wasn't an event exclusive, especially with this blood effect piece. I'm sure the price is going to be crazy, but this blood effect piece alone to me makes this figure so unique and so worth it. Never seen a blood effect piece like this that you can literally insert into his mouth. Hey, yo. Pause. I know no Diddy, man. Definitely no Diddy here because this looks absolutely fire man like imagine him getting kicked on a display by his dad with this blood coming out of his mouth like that would be amazing this baki looks nice man sucks that it's an event exclusive though and they also did show off more pictures of this character don't know nothing about him but he does look cool does look different and creative um I'm, it's from another fighting game called fighting x layer yes it sucks that they let go of the mortal Kombat license is what it seems like but hopefully another company picks it up that could do 10 times better with the mortal Kombat license than what storm was doing <clears throat> looking at jada toys this looks it looks cool man it looks cool it's definitely here as an option the msrp is 58 dollars and the eta is quarter four of 2024 and ramen toy did show off you know just some progress updates of this marshall figure and i gotta say every picture 
that we get like every updated photo that we get of this guy it just it looks really really nice i might not be a fan of the bright colors and everything but that is accurate to what he's supposed to be like that looks really really nice but for me personally it's just the head sculpt the head sculpt absolutely looks amazing to me like i love this head sculpt the articulation looks like it's there i really would like to get the aviation figures from ramen toy because i'm just i'm so interested to, to see and feel the quality of six inch scale figures i already know when it comes to vehicles the quality is there 100 percent so I, I just can't wait to get you know some of these human characters in my collection to see what they're like but his accessories the hats the face sculpt the shield everything here looks really really nice man i loved how transparent and translucent this is looks good it just looks good man i am not hating on this at all the visor that comes on the hat like i'm i'm this looks cool i'm excited i'm definitely excited to see what this will be like to hold an experience in person and not official man not official but these are some looks like it looks like prototype figures once again this is not official looks like a gi joe classified raptor figure is rumored to be the 2024 san diego comic-con exclusive this figure has not yet been confirmed by the joe team but keep an eye out um because i'm pretty sure some updates and news about this will happen this looks nice like i can't even lie the more animals we get the better as well as animal figures or figures that are to me have unique sculpts and he is definitely a character with a unique sculpt i would be pretty excited to see what this figure is going to look like once they finally do put it out not sure if this is official but if it is to me this ain't looking that bad this is looking pretty decent also NECA showed off there you want to play a little game <laughs> have the ultimate jigsaw figure right here because he it, it looks like he comes with everything man he comes with the pig mask he comes with cloth he comes with the little guy on a bicycle um i i can't wait to get this in my collection i do not have a jigsaw figure at all but looking at everything that's included with this guy like i said the bike the figure the cloth the pig mask and also the trap it just this looks like literally the ultimate jigsaw figure so this is something that i will definitely be picking up without a doubt um msrp is 34.99 and i feel like you get a lot here you are getting a lot here for 34.99 let's keep in mind that we have other companies selling us figures for 30 dollars, basically retail and you don't get half as much so maybe you're lucky if you get some hands and here you get a lot more than just hands you get multiple face sculpts the trap this is a pretty medium sized accessory half the size of the figure um, I love that he comes with his blade. Overall, this just looks really, really good, man. I I, <laughs> I can't wait to get this Jigsaw figure in because he is missing from my horror shelf. No Jigsaw figure. I have none. This, These are some unique figures by uh, McFarlane. Not so much Booster Gold or Mr. Freeze, but 100%, 100%. This DC Classics ambush bug character. This is unique. Now, I might not be uh, the biggest fan of McFarlane, his proportions um, or his articulation, but I, I just I love the fact that he puts out such obscure characters and, you know, so many different variations and colors. And this is definitely an, uh, an obscure character. Like there's no way someone's going to convince me that we would be getting a figure like this from another company. I don't believe it. Not at all. This it would have to be McFarlane that would give us such obscure characters like this. And, and, and I say it all the time, like I said, his proportions are always off to me where the head is at versus how how low the shoulders are and then how long the arms are just a lot of stuff just doesn't it doesn't look cohesive or accurate to me it just doesn't but usually it doesn't mesh well nicely on some of his figures but i can't lie here it looks really good i love this mr freeze gun once again i wish i could just buy these damn accessories and not the figure if i want to pass on the figure um, but this this is cool, man. And I, I definitely can't hate on this Mr. Freeze either. This is one I do feel like his proportions do look good. Like like I said, it's not always, but in majority of the cases, the proportions are off. But when he gets them right, he gets them right. And this Mr. Freeze definitely does look nice. And Mr. Freeze is normally a bigger character. I mean, he was played by Arnold. So he's a taller guy, especially in the armored suit that he's in. So I think this, this could still mesh in well with uh, six inch scale figures. This Mr freeze may still look nice with you know some of the mafex hush figures sticking with mcfarlane he also showed off his joker and punchline now 
this is this is unique i'm happy that he's doing a punchline and not just another harley that is really cool i always give mcfarlane credit when it comes to you know him doing unique characters and obscure characters but um at, like i always say i mean guys come on look at the size of joker's head right and then look at how long these arms are or just look at the proportions here look at look at punchline's head it looks like she has like really no neck and then her shoulders right there like it just doesn't his proportions are always so off on these figures man like on top of the articulation being weird and like just the proportions are always off to me i'm happy that we're getting a punchline i am and i do like the sculpting and the paint apps and the design everything on her other than the proportions i think does look really really nice i like her makeup and mafex has finally shown off their no way home friendly neighborhood spider-man figure and i gotta say i didn't think it was gonna look this good and i'm hoping because mafex has slowly been scaling up lately so i'm hoping that he's taller than the sh figure arts one i would kind of put money that he's going to be taller i don't think they're going to be the same height i think he's going to be a little bit taller i love the effect piece that he comes with right here so i am putting money on the fact that he will be taller but his head sculpts look amazing to me the paint apps the sculpting this may be the best toby Maguire figure that we're ever gonna have so i am definitely excited to see more progress on this and to see some in scale shots and some size comparisons once that's actually possible because if he's taller, if he can fit in with a Marvel Legends size, because the SH Figure Arts ones are kind of short. They're kind of smaller. So I'm hoping that this guy's taller. And it's not that I think the SH Figure Arts one looks bad. I think that looks good too. But for me, like I said, the size and the scale, the SH Figure Arts one is pretty tiny. So if I could get one scaled up a little bit bigger, uh, I'd be happy with that. And this is now are basically available for pre-order. And I would not be surprised if this guy is one of the harder ones to get or does sell out pretty fast. And I did not get to speak my thoughts on this. I was going to do, maybe I still will do an entire video um, just speaking about the current state of Legends and where they're at in 2024. Because I do feel like they are definitely trying to, to step up the bar when it comes to their figures and i have no complaints here all this stuff looks looks it, it looks really really good man all this new sculpting here i wish they didn't have to reuse the flame effect this looks like the same flame effect that has come with every other ghost figure recently but overall i'm really happy with the bike and the accessories that come with it not sure why this couldn't be a part of that failed Haslab, but hey man at, <laughs> we're getting it now and it, it looks good like i'm i'm not hating on it at all actually a lot of these releases that they've shown off look absolutely beautiful same with this superior spider-man i love that he has the metallic type of lenses on his eyes and you also have the option to to not have those metallic lenses so two different head sculpts i think that's really cool man that looks nice the tendrils look really nice the tentacles i should say or whatever they are they look good as well too so they're definitely trying to step up their game i'm excited about this guy i wish his legs were pinless and stuff but i'm excited to finally get a scar in my collection to me it, it looks really good of course there's things that could be better but i don't think that this is bad man i love his hair i love the sculpting they're just trying to step it up man uh, i believe laser pants said it's a step in the right direction and i have to agree with him like this is all definitely a step in the right direction the wolverine looks really nice as well too so yeah like i said it's just more definitive characters better head sculpts better bodies this the only thing that's disappointing here to me is that you know they clearly made her chest much smaller than you know previous versions or you know what i think a lot of people have said it's supposed to be but her lower body still looks really curvy and nice so i'm not even tripping on it like that um it, it doesn't look bad man looks really really good also, when it comes to Loose Collector, he did show off shots today of this Lady Satanis, and it looks really, really good, man. Cannot wait to get this up on the channel to show you guys, because this is part of their new, improved female body mold. I mean, we've seen her before, but these are some of the final shots, as well as some really nice size comparisons with some other figures. So I really like that she's not on the taller side, especially with these heels on. Um, I like that she's a little bit more scaled down, it looks like, from some previous figures. So she looks really nice to me. But we'll see what it's like as soon as I can get her up on the channel, if I get her in. 
and also this has been circulating I, I can't scroll down instagram without seeing this thing today man this this is wild from a company called fans hobby i was talking to one of my close friends and associates and he was the one that let me know that hey it's you know fans hobby they are a reputable company they have made a lot of third-party transformer figures and uh this this looks good man this looks nice I'm, I'm not hating at all i am just interested on the price because it does have lights and we do know third-party transformers can be pretty pricey at times so yeah it does have lights i am just super interested i love that they have the string attachment here As you guys can see they have done a lot of transformers work so you know if you want to hang it from the ceiling and stuff i love that they thought about that as you know for collectors to be able to hang it or prop it up wherever you want to shit put this on a christmas tree <laughs> But the scale of this thing does look really nice. Let's just take a look real fast. Look at these. These are all figures that, you know, for the most part, we all know and recognize here. And this is the size of it with them sitting inside. Super spacious, of course, when it when it's going to come to SH Figure Arts figures, G.I. Joe Classified, Jada Toys. I am super curious on the price. That's what's going to matter to me, honestly, and make the big difference here. But the lights look bright. The sculpting, the detail, everything else here looks really, really nice. Obviously, I think this is the their first take on our vehicles as far as not transforming vehicles just standard six inch action figure vehicles this is their first take on that but the lighting effects and everything looks nice like blinking lights and everything green light on the side you have a light on the internal dashboard on the hud it just it looks really really good man like i'm not hating at all i'm just like i said guys i'm interested in the price i'm worried about the price i honestly i hope that it's not more than 130 i would say 130 dollars <laughs> because this is an army building vehicle so people would love to army build this to be honest if that price is too high i'm gonna refer back to this default which is man if if leaving the lights out would have dropped the price I'm sure people would have rather that because this is an army building vehicle. People don't just want one Skyhawk in their collection. I'm sure similar to the trouble bubble and the his tank, they would like to have multiple. So hopefully this price is not that crazy, but this does look really, really nice. I will keep you guys updated with post, whatever comes out. I will 100% be uh, showing this off right away because I'm very interested to see where this goes and um what the final rollout of this product is going to be but this is by fans hobby um head over to the find my figures instagram page to check it out and there's a link to their page as well i was about to be done but 5k toys just opened up pre-orders for this dawson toys strongest ninja the price is 39.99 now i gotta tell you guys straight up i have gotten some of the other dawson figures in from the roroni kenshin line and i absolutely love them i had no issues so i am super excited for this this is obviously a take from the one punch man and this looks absolutely beautiful, man. I mean, <laughs> I mean, ninjas in the name, of course, I'm going to be biased towards ninja action figures. So I just I really like how this guy looks, really love his face plates and stuff. But more importantly, I love that he's basically an import figure with updated import articulation and a ton of accessories, face plates, hands, ninja stars, swords, hair, a flight stand for 40 dollars so yeah i i had to pre-order the brawly today now i have to go and pre-order this man i'm broke i can't eat i'm broke i'm broke these companies gotta chill they have to chill out man but this guy looks absolutely beautiful especially with the scarf and the bendy wire in it i love this i love the way that this looks man over on 5k toys right now it says it's currently in transit to their usa warehouse and estimated to ship in about two weeks so yeah i am definitely excited for this and remember we are live tomorrow or depending when you're watching this today sunday the 28th at 9 p.m stop by come say what's up where we will be talking about the most hype figures of 2024 all of the best figures that we're supposed to be getting this year that i am the most excited for and i'll be asking you guys in the chat and pulling up what you guys are the most excited for and like i always say man i, I just go over selective things that appeal to me i'm not here to report about everything under the sun i just try to report about majority of things and because you know majority of things do i do find really interesting especially more obscure stuff and not just you know hasbro and mattel stuff but if you want to see everything 
everything, head over to the Fan My Figures Instagram page. These two beautiful women do post so much, man. They're on this shit daily, daily. So if you want daily updates and to stay up to stay up to date with what's happening, definitely check out the Fan My Figures Instagram page. And to see everything, even stuff that I didn't get around to talking about, head over there to check it out. And you guys know when we can have a cosplay weather girl of the week, we do. And this week's cosplay weather girl is going to have to go to Juliet Michelle. I have featured her before and most likely I will feature her again because her shit is a 10 out of 10. I recently got the Marvel Legends Goblin Queen in and my action figure did not look like this. Also, she also preview shots to the Mario 2 movie, which low key, I, I see why Mario rides Yoshi. No lie. I love Yoshi. I'm not trying to make this weird, man. But I, I, I get it now. I get why Mario loves Yoshi as well. And in the Mario 2 movie, she'll be playing Yoshi as well as Peach. Yeah, I'm in the theaters about seven days early to see that. <laughs> Comment down below if you made it to the end of the video and if you enjoyed my cosplay weather girl as well as some of these action figures, man. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about anything in the video. Thank you for tuning in to another Ninja News Weekly. It might be 10 p.m. Do you know where your action figures are?